Alright, Halos, welcome back. Um, Final Fantasy 16 is finally coming out on the PC um, in on September 17th, I believe. Um, it's well, I think it's 16th or 17th, but I think it's the 17th. Either way, um, we have the demo here, which apparently your save data actually transfers over to uh, the new game, because in the demo you just are starting the game like normally, I think. Something like that, but anyways, um, we're gonna try some of the demo today and see how far we can get. Um, maybe we can complete, complete it, I'm not sure how long it is, but either way, um, let's jump into it. I'm gonna do a new game for sure here, and without further ado, let's just jump in, shall we? It's gonna be fun. Um, <clears throat> all that should be fine. I'm not using a controller, so the rumble won't matter. Don't need that. Um, we're gonna be doing, I think we're gonna do some story focused, because I, I prefer, you know, having fun, I guess, <laughs> a little more. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be their main thing. So we're gonna go story focused, I think. And then it can be changed after starting the game. So yeah, we can, we can change that later if we need to. Everything else should be pretty much good. So let's go ahead and jump into it. It was Moss the Chronicler who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. They look like a cutscene, but it's actually, uh, there's gameplay in this. I tried out a, a little bit of it earlier, just to make sure things are going well. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay, too. Okay, here we go. We can attack and we can also evade. <clears throat> there we go. We evaded it that time, that's good. Kind of like, um, what are they called? To there. Uh, kind of like, um, what's it called? Um, um, oh my gosh. Oh shoot. I didn't dodge that time, that's for sure. <laughs> it's fine though. <laughs> Scripted. Interesting, right? Year of the Realm 873. The Nysa Defile, the Dalmekian Republic. What is it? I need read it quick enough. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else? Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done.
All right. So are we like Hitman or something then? I don't know. I don't know. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. Oh, looks like we're in. We're in it. We're playing. Alright. I, I guess said it'll, focus, Wyvern. it'll tell us that we can move soon. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Move the camera and we can move that. Sweet. Alright, let's head up through. Oh! Uh, press escape at any time outside a cutscene to open the main menu. <clears throat> Gameplay configuration settings, including camera and version, can be adjusted on the system tab. Okay. We don't have time for this. All hell is about to break loose. And you can turn those uh, control on-screen controls off and on, I believe. What was that? The crowd? Battle, maybe? We're just in time. <clears throat> yeah, battle. The Republican Army front lines. Fancy music. Please don't get me copyrighted. I'm just playing your game, bro. Trying to get some. Trying to, you know, show other people that it's good. Although I haven't really played it yet, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's good. It's fun fantasy. Not gonna be bad. But yeah, the music is always so good in these. Okay, we're just like watching. This is going. They won't need this new dominant of theirs. What? Why does this feel like Game of Thronesy? The Zernitra Zer stronghold, the Nisa Quickly. defile. Nisa. What do you mean, you refuse? Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? Don't begin, Chief Strategist. Come now. <coughs> Prime Minister, Marshall, don't begin. The King of Walud is don't our guest. Begin. And you have His Majesty's answer. Wait, that's a guy? <sighs> hmm. Some water. Oh, okay. Looks like some kind of magic for sure in this world. that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides... Your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. 
bugger their nights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. It's a big boy. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Which just leaves me. Kupka! The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. You cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. Weird. Okay. Some settings and like <clears throat> some themes here. The front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Big sword, buddy. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, I hope I don't I don't think I'll need to adjust any like game settings or anything, visuals and stuff, but we'll we'll we will see I guess. That offset is a little weird for me though. Might have to change that, we'll see. Okay, interesting. Jump isn't super high. Ooh. Look at that. What is that? Can I... I can't swing my sword yet, nope. Alright, what we got over here? And, quick and deadly, as always. <sighs> Take the van. The vanguard? Is that what you mean? <laughs> Wait. Something's not right. Hello? Titan. So the Darmax finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Wait, we have to fight that? Ha! And look who's here to greet the bastard. Maybe they'll fight each other. <coughs> Hopefully the audio is okay, by the way. I might have to turn the game volume down a little bit. We'll see. Again!
fast dash. Interesting. You don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move. Uh, yeah, I am actually gonna. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, got it. I already, already knew. Thank you. I'm gonna actually lower down the volume a little more, actually, because it is uh, a little bit loud for me. Which uh, I'm sure it's fine, but I'd rather just be, just be a little bit careful here. <clears throat> Not going that way. That's for sure. I don't know if there's a sprint button, but I'm assuming not. Oh, okay. That was scripted. Quick move. This is weird. Oh, that's cool. You used to see them in the background fighting. That's done, not bad. Let's see where we're going up here. Oh, cutscene again. Stunned us or knocked us out or something. Wyvern! Wyvern! I told you before, you do not get to die here. us jump when we were younger. 13 summers earlier, yep. Year of the Realm 860. Oh shoot, I forgot what the first one was. Rosalia, the Grand Duke Duchy of, what did that say, Rosalia or something? Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. <laughs> Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Oh, okay. We're gonna get some tutorial fighting here. Let's go. Combat, whatever. That's what I'm talking about. All right, here we Let's go. Start again from the beginning. Come, Murdoch. show me your form. Lord Commander Murdoch, attack the Lord Commander. Execute a four swing combo. Press uh, left uh, click to perform a melee attack. Up to four attacks can be chained together. Okay. Right, let's try it then. Lock on. Yeah, sure. Why not? Here we Again. go. Nice. Listen, complete. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. <laughs> okay. Come, Clive. Bring fire down upon me. Channel your inner flame. Land a fire spell five times. Press right, uh, right click to cast fire. A ranged spell that can strike enemies from great distances. Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay. Interesting. 
interesting. So uh, can I just like cast that as much as well possible done. or what? Very interesting. You wield Maybe the if... Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. <laughs> Let's see if you can elude my blade. Oh no, oh. the dodging or the Your guarding. I hate this. Will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. Yeah, true. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Stay quick on your feet. <coughs> evade four times. Press control to evade an enemy's attack. Okay, looks like they have a wind up. Evading an attack at the precise moment it is dealt with temporarily slow the enemy, making it more susceptible to a counter using left or right click. Okay. Interesting. Oops, I pressed the wrong thing, sorry. Uh, main menu attributes. The attributes tab provides a comprehensive overview of Clive's current level, status, abilities, and gear. Cool. Uh, I didn't mean to press that though, sorry. There we go, we evaded in that time for sure. Nice try! How did you dodge that? I was sure I had you. That was amazing! Nice. Oh. Not quite! Oh. Okay, Good. sweet. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix, granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on it. Okay. Well, I'm waiting. Um, close the gap. Uh, iconic or iconic feats. The blessing of the phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix shift is one such iconic feat. <laughs> I'm just gonna say iconic, but maybe it's iconic. Um, sh press shift to swiftly close in on a distant target. Uh, shift attack. Both melee and ranged attacks. Magic can be used. Uh, while executing a phoenix shift. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Impressive. <laughs> but even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. Mend your wounds. What's that up there? Um, consumable items such as potions and tonics can be used to restore Clive's HP or temporarily boost attributes. Okay, um, consumables can be assigned to 1, 2, and 3 via the items tab in the main menu for quick or inconvenient use. These items can also be used directly from the menu. Okay. Uh, use potion. Okay, so I guess we'll just go for it maybe. Oh wait, no. That's what to be for now. Oh, it wants us to fully restore. Okay. I'm wait. Fine. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. All right. Enough practice. It's time for the test. The You've test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. Rossfield. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. Hmm. As you wish, my lord. Okay, Clive Rossfield, Shield of the Flame. Interesting. How that, me boy. Make proof of your strength. Final lesson. Defeat the Lord Commander. Breaking an opponent's will. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back. Break their spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they are vulnerable. Okay. Well, one, you're sure to beat him this time. 
You can do it, Clive. Just stay calm. Aha. You're taking this seriously. Keep going, Clive. Nice, we got him staggered. Let's take him out. <laughs> uh, staggering your enemies. Lord Murdoch's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Uh, try dealing as much damage as you can before you regain the senses. Use Q to execute Rising Flames, a powerful iconic ability granted by Clive, granted Clive by the Blessing of the Phoenix. Q to execute Rising Flames. Okay. Q. Pressing it. Uh, I don't know. It didn't work. I used all the tools at my disposal. Yeah, I don't know how to use the Q. I pressed Q, but it didn't really work. Um, maybe I just learned wrong how to... Alright, training complete. Uh, nice. <laughs> Actually, uh, sorry, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it once again, uh, and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching again. Peace.